Okay, before I start today's Retro Hub and Nintendo Switch Ryu Jinx setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, which is pretty much every day, even a few times a day, and it really helps out my channel too. So we're continuing with Retro Hub today, and if you're new to this front end system, then I'll leave a link in my description for the initial setup guide for it. I'll just say it's a very awesome and free, very much underrated front end system, emulation system. So we're looking at Ryu Jinx today. So what we're going to do first is download Ryu Jinx for Windows. And once you've downloaded that, you'll end up with a zip folder. I've got it just here. This is the latest version. What I'm going to do is just open this one up and inside we're going to find a published folder. We got all the goodies inside of here. What I'm then going to do is go to my Retro Hub directory. If you don't have it on your desktop like I do, just right click on the Retro Hub shortcut, open file location, and here we go. That'll take us straight into the directory. First of all, I'm just going to make a new folder in here. So right click, new folder, and I'm going to call this folder Switch. Once I've done that, I'm then going to go into my emulators folder and create another new folder in this one. And I'm going to right click, new folder, and call this one Ryu Jinx. And it's in this Ryu Jinx folder, we're going to want to extract all of those contents from the zip folder of Ryu Jinx and just drag and drop them into Ryu Jinx. Okay, while that's copying over, what we're going to do is go back into that Switch folder and we're going to drag and drop our games into that folder. So I've got games in here. These are a mixture of .nsp files and .xci files and they both work fine. So just drag and drop those. That's going to be our games folder. Next thing we're going to want to do is just wait for this to copy over. Okay, once that's done, what we're going to do next is look at keys. So we're going to need a couple of key files for this to work. We got prods.keys and we got title.keys. What I'm going to do is just drag and drop them into that Ryu Jinx folder. Once the keys is copied across, what we're going to do next is open up ryujinx.exe. Windows protected your PC. We're going to go to more info and run anyway. Okay, so this is Ryu Jinx, and this is just imported my games too, so all it's looking well. What we need to do now is go to File, and we're going to go to Open Ryu Jinx Folder. Inside of this folder, we're going to find several different folders. We're going to go into System, and it's in this System folder that we need to put those keys into. So I just dragged and dropped both of those key files inside of my Ryu Jinx folder. So prog keys and title keys. So literally just make a copy of both of these. I'm just leaving them in this emulator's Ryu Jinx folder just so they're safe in, in one place. So we're going to go back to Ryu Jinx, open Ryu Jinx folder, and we're going to go into the system folder, and it's in here we can then paste those keys. As you can see, I've already got them in there. And before we actually open up Retro Hub, we're going to just test if these games actually work. So double left click. Now, as you might be aware, Nintendo Switch games run from what's called shaders. And what it's doing right now is just loading up from my previous game of this. On your first time of playing Switch games through Ryu Jinx, you'll notice a lot of lag and things aren't quite smooth. On your second occasion of playing it, it will likely smooth out. Okay, so if you get control applet pop up, we're going to go to open settings window. And from here, we can then configure our controller. So I'm going to go to input device. And if I drop this down, I'm going to find my Xbox controller. And here we go. So if you want to map this out, all you need to do is just left click on each one of these and then literally map it out with your controller. We also got a controller type here. So most games will run fine with pro controller. And you might also want to make a save. So in my case, I've saved this just Jamie. And once you've done that, you can then go to apply and OK.
Okay, as you can see, that's running really well. Now, what I'm going to do is just close down out of this and go to yes. And we're going to open up Ryujinx once more. This time, we're going to go to options. And we just need to make sure that start games in full screen mode is actually checked. If you don't check this, then when you open up your game through Retro Hub, your games will then be displayed in window mode, which is pretty annoying. Uh, whilst we're here, if you've actually got any DLC or game updates, then to install these into Ryujinx is literally just a case of going to File, Load Application from File, and then you can double left click on your DLC or update, and that should then install it. Other things we can do is to actually improve graphics video. So to do this, we're going to go to Options, Settings, and from here, we can go to graphics. Now, if you're getting no visuals on your game, then at the top just here, we got graphics backend. Vulcan for me is working fine. It could be different for you in certain cases. You also need to ensure that your GPU is selected. If you don't have a powerful GPU, then it's unlikely you're gonna get a smooth experience from Nintendo Switch games. Now, the big one just here, and this is the reason emulation is so great, is resolution scale. Now, natively, this is running between 720 and 1080p. We can boost this up to two times, three times, and as it says, four times isn't recommended. And to be honest with you, most games, even if you've got a good computer, it's going to struggle at three times. So really, your best bet is to put this on the two times if you've got a fairly good computer. We've also got anti-aliasing. I'm going to put this to FXAA. And we've also got scaling filter just here. So obviously, this is going to add a little bit more definition to textures in games. Not that it really needs it. We also got aspect ratio. Now, Switch games are designed for 16 by 9. So really, there's no need to mess around with this, I wouldn't have thought. Okay, so let's just apply those settings and OK. And this time we're going to open up Retro Hub. Here's Nintendo Switch. My games are just here, but obviously we need to set up the emulator in Retro Hub. So press Escape. And first of all, we're just going to drop down to Systems. At the top here, we're going to find Nintendo Switch. And here we go, Switch, Nintendo Switch. And like it says just here, Ryujinx as well as Yuzu are both accepted. It's also going to tell us here what type of file extensions we can use. And this is good in my circumstance. I'm using both NSP and XCI. Next thing, we're going to go down to Emulators. And at the top here, we're going to drag this down and find Ryujinx. Here's Ryujinx. And here we go then. So it looks like this has connected it to the correct path. If this doesn't do this for you, just go to Load. And from here, we need to navigate to where the emulator is, Ryujinx that is. So we're just going to go down to Users, into my JB folder. And providing you've got this on your desktop, it's going to be in Desktop. And then we're going to search for the Retro Hub folder. And in my Retro Hub folder, I have got Emulators. And here's Ryujinx. And I'm going to just double left click on Ryujinx.exe. So everything is now in place by the seams of it and we just need to go up to save changes, go up to scraper and just scroll down until we see all the artwork that we want to scrape. Games to scrape, I'm going to go without metadata and here's my three games which are the only games in Retro Hub that has no metadata yet. I'm going to go to scrape now. Okay, and because I've got this long list of letters and numbers after my game, it's not going to scrape it. So what I need to do is just backspace and then go to search. And here we go, Kirby, Star Allies, and we're going to go to confirm. And next up, we got Sonic Superstars, which is a very awesome modern day Sonic game. I totally recommend this one. I bought a copy of this when it came out and I wasn't disappointed whatsoever. I know a lot of people didn't like it because of the speed. Confirm. Okay, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Confirm. And finally, we're going to go to finish. And if I press escape to come out, and if we go back down to switch, it actually looks like we've got all the artwork for our game. So this time, I'm going to open up Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Go to play. Like it says, by pressing escape button, that's going to kill the emulator and bring you back into Retro Hub. Hey there! Where's the party?
Okay, and as you can see, that's working perfectly. And as I also mentioned just now, normally with Nintendo Switch games, on your first time running that game, like it was my first time running that game through Ryu Jinx, it was very laggy. And like I say, that's not the case all the time. And you also might need to know that if you should need to access options whilst you're in game, just press escape on your keyboard and you can then use the options at the top of Ryu Jinx. And that's it for today's Retro Hub and Nintendo Switch Ryu Jinx setup guide. So, like I said at the start of the video, if you're new to Retro Hub and you want to get to grips with it and learn what it is, I'll leave the initial setup guide in my description. You can check that out. We've also done a playlist for Retro Hub too. Anyways, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.